Hey, my name is Laura, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Teams personal application using your Teams and then debug it. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to decide where you want the application to be created on your hard drive. Uh, create a folder for it, fire up a command prompt, and then navigate to that folder. After that, you type your Teams, and this will fire the wizard for creating your uh, Teams personal application. Okay, now that the wizard has started, we can proceed with answering to all of its questions. So, first it asks what we want the solution to be named, and it picks it up from the default name. So, let's just use the default settings. For these and I have previously already typed in the company name if you haven't if you will need to type that in now and then let's use the latest version and you can fill in the partner ID as well if you have it otherwise you can leave it blank or fill it in later if you don't have it handy and even though this is called a team's personal application it is essentially a tab so we select a tab at this point and you can insert the Azure website URL here if you have already created the web application in Azure. But I haven't, so I'm just using this default URL. It's possible to change this later on by editing the manifest file. Yes, I'll include the tests. Yes, I want to use application insights. I don't have the application insights grid yet, and I haven't created that yet, so I'm just going to use the default value here. Again, I can change this later in the manifest file. And then we just proceed with these default uh, values. But here, when it asks if you want to create configurable or a static tab, we need to select static. Otherwise, this has been pretty much next, 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 next. But here, we need to select the lower option. And again, a lot of default values here. Yes, yes, yes. And then it starts creating our application. This can take quite a few minutes. so. You might want to go and grab a coffee or something while waiting. Okay, that took about four minutes. Then we can open the project by typing code space dot and it opens it in VS Code. And then we open the terminal window. And there's two ways for us to debug this application in localhost or in Teams. I'm just going to quickly show you how you can debug this in localhost first and then how you can debug it in Teams so you can also get access to the Teams context. You can debug your tab exactly the same way as you would any web application by typing gulp serve. This will host your tab on localhost and the port is 3007 I think. Yeah. And then you type in your project name and tab. So my project name was called tutorial. So the URL is slash tutorial tab. And this is basically what your tab looks like on its own. Now, what about if we want to debug our application in Teams? So we get access to the Teams context. That happens by typing in gulp and croc dash serve. And what this does, this hosts your application and packages your manifest file. So now we can open Teams and go to Apps and then upload a custom app. Go to our project folder and then to Package. And in there we have the zip package that the command we just wrote packaged for us. And this is what we need to upload to Teams. So this contains the manifest file with all the configurations for our tab and two logo files. And here it is. Then we just click on it and click add and this adds the tab for us and here it is here you are debugging your tab in teams and that's it i hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions or comments feel free to write them down below otherwise thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye